guys. Well, yesterday we were at 98 degrees, not quite the triple digits, and we haven't seen 100 degrees yet so far in 2023. So I wanted to break down when we typically see that century mark. The earliest we've ever seen it was May 1st of 1947. The latest we've ever seen it was June 30th. That was in 1965. And on average, we typically see the first day on May 24th. So we're a bit behind considering we typically see that by May. We're now in June and the next couple of days we're 10 degrees below average tomorrow. 7 degrees below average Wednesday and Thursday still in the low 90s. So we're staying well below average at least until June 16th. We're going to be watching this really closely to see if we inch closer to that June 30th mark because today we're nowhere close as well. We have plenty of sunshine, but it'll only take us into the low 90s today. Daytime highs across our region in the mid 90s for Laughlin, triple digits for Death Valley, Pahrump in the upper 80s. So our local mountains today like Spring Valley, uh, Spring Mountains and Sheep Range you'll see in the upper and low 60s. Days Planner, you're going to see that sunshine taking us into the upper 80s by around noontime. 4 p.m. you see the southeast winds really starting to kick in after about lunchtime. You'll see those gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Overnight we fall back into the 60s before another unseasonably cool day tomorrow. Part of this is because of low pressure that's hanging out across California. That brings some rain to northern Nevada this morning and we could see some light showers moving through our region tomorrow. Can't rule out with a 10% chance of maybe a few stray showers or thunderstorms with enough mid-level moisture out there that could bring some pop up storms to our local mountains. That's more likely for tomorrow, closer to 40% chance. So they want to skip the hiking plans tomorrow before we start to dry out and we stay cool the rest of the week. Looking forward to next weekend, we'll stay in those upper 80s with overnights in the 60s.